I think working with initiatives such as the ex-offenders programs on our construction projects is really important to allow us to integrate our projects into the, the communities that we're here to support. Typically, we're on projects for a long period of time throughout the construction phase and being able to really embed ourselves and give back benefits to those communities is really important. Well, personally, me, I get satisfaction of giving somebody a second chance. Everybody needs a second chance. Beach and Time are introducing to us people that they believe are fit for the roles that we, what we've got to fill. Before they actually get there, they're giving them interviewing skills. They're coming with the right attitude as well. You know, they want to change. And the, the two lads that we've got on site at the moment, both of them come with the right attitude. We partnered up with Beating Time because they're a charity that works with prisoners and they're experts in their field. Um, they've also built that trust and relationship with the prisoners inside. Obviously, I worked with Beating Time, a couple of people there, good people. I got me a job interview with Jack and Skanska and I, I come out with the same expectation as what I had when I was in there. Nothing's going to happen, you know, I'm going to be on my own. Um, but it didn't, I got the call obviously for the job and the job pretty much is what put me in the position that I am now to be able to never ever ever say that I will offend. I, I will never offend again. I was released in January of this year um, and obviously I walked straight into the job with Skanska virtually, um, which I feel extremely lucky um, to have done. Um, how I got that was through a company called um, Inside Job, um, who I started work with in HMP Huon. As soon as I'd come out, they lined up um, the interview um, with Jack Rook from Skanska. Um, I came to that interview, I'd literally been out probably a week to 10 days. Um, I think the interview was on a Wednesday and then the following Monday I started on the M42 project here um, and I've been here since and I've not looked back, it's been great. That transition from, from coming out from prison, you just don't know how it's going to be, um, you know, how you're going to be affected in, in any jobs that you apply for. Um, but obviously with working with a company, you know, like Skanska, obviously they appreciate what you've been through. Um, you know, one of the first things that Jack said to me in my interview was, you know, we're not looking behind us now, we're looking forward. Um, and that just made me feel sort of at ease completely. Um, and the support that I've received since I've been here has been fantastic. On past projects, I have worked with other ex-offender programmes. Um, and for me personally, they're a real opportunity to show how the construction industry is open and attractive to anybody. As a business, we want to be able to offer career opportunities within construction and ensure we're giving them hope for a better future. Um, and make a difference to their lives. By committing to continue with these sort of initiatives and by them being driven by our project team members, it really goes to show that we can all positively impact the change for the industry. So I went back into prison to do like uh, talks for the charities um, as to show people that, you know, there is a way out of the life of crime for them um, and to tell them my story of how I managed to do it. So it's giving back to the charities and the people that helped me. I know it's difficult when, when you're on the inside because I've been there and experienced it. Um, but believe me, there is positives to come from a bad situation. And when you get offered those positives, grab them with both hands and take it. You know that them lads in there, well, they're, not, they're not having a nice time inside there. You know what I mean? That, that hour that they've got or two hours they've got is the only two hours that they're allowed for that day and they've allocated it to come in to see what I have to say. Um, it's tough in there, it, it really is. And I come, actually come out of there and I felt physically and mentally drained. You know, what's gone on behind us, we can't change. Uh, what's gonna, what, where we're going, that's what we can actually do. I know that if I keep doing what I'm doing, I'm just, there's no way I'm falling back down, I'm only going up. So, yeah, I love the job.